First find of the day for me. Oh, and he's got his head and everything. Wow, he's very detailed. Look at his helmet. You'll probably find out exactly what type he is. Hi! Oh, he's got his head and everything. Yeah, it's very detailed. Uh. Nice. Cool, that's a good start. Looks like a star. Is that a make or is that a design? I quite like that. So we would put it in the sun or in the shade. <laughs> the sun's too bright. I think that is a pipe bulb just there. So let's see if I can reach it. What an adorable one. And such a long heel. Wow. I have not actually really seen that one that shape. Sort of looks like a big fairy pipe. With a long heel. Lovely. Look. Yeah. What did we say when we wanted to find? Doll's house thing? Yeah. Did you find something Doll's house? Yeah, thing? but it's broken. But it was definitely for oh, a Doll's house. Look how tiny, look how delicate it I is. I know. We can fix that. That looks cool. Let's oh, see. Something line. Latter's line, letters line. That's cool. To look that up. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, that one. Oh. Pink pot. Somebody's legs? Yes. Do we need somebody's legs? No, I think we have enough legs. I think so too. <laughs> Such a shame, just missing its handle. Nassau. That's such a shame. Maybe someone will come along and fix it, but I think that's a broken doll limb. Oh, I'd love a whole one today. That'd be amazing. Look at that piece of pottery poking out of the moss. It looks very magical. <laughs> Little castle. Eyebrow. I think that bottle's whole looks round. Let me see. Oh, it is whole. <laughs> it's got a, a metal lid though, but it's still quite cute. Ooh. <laughs> That's a lovely bottle. Oh, it says stuff inside. B.W. and Co. Tabloid. Oh. That's a lovely bottle. It's tablets then. Tabloid tablets. Yeah, oh. Well. Could be nothing. I'm going to film it anyway, just in case it has words all over it, but we'll see when we get home and clean it. I think that could be a baking bean rather than a marble. It's very light. It's definitely man-made, though. Look at the shadows playing on my hand. <laughs> it looks like a paw. Be useful. Is that going to be another one of those ceramic clay pipes. <laughs> Obviously a lot more battered. But it has the stem this time. So yeah, that might have come off an ashtray or a clay pipe advertisement. So yeah, it's a little ceramic one. 
probably leave it, but they are very cool. We have a bowl of one. A little bit the other, ours is brown. Very mountain bottle stop. I don't think we'll be taking that one. That is a very beautiful piece of etched glass. Obviously from a window or something. But that will be perfect for something that we have in mind. Oh my goodness, I really need this to be whole. Oh, Kate. <gasps> oh, I don't, I reckon it's broken though. Oh no. It's going to be broken, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's going to be broken. Wait, wait, wait. 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 <laughs> Film you yourself. It's definitely going to be broken. to find doll's house things <gasps> oh my word that is stunning that is the greatest doll's house thing we've ever found <gasps> oh my word well that's the uh, centerpiece for the nursery wall <laughs> yeah <laughs> to the children's bedroom <laughs> on the way in I said I wanted to find a pixie and gnome or something really good for the doll's house it's absolutely amazing I was just starting to worry that there wasn't anything here but <laughs> some school slate with the square still on it always have to check slates ever since we found that piece that had the address written on it the child I think that looks like a pair of legs. <gasps> oh, they're quite funny legs. But mum is right, we do have a lot of legs for crafting. So maybe I'll leave him for someone else to do some crafting with. But does that look like it's going to be a clay pipe? Oh, <gasps> oh it's a chunky one. I wasn't expecting it to have any stem. Beautiful. Is it is it blue or is it? no? It's just <laughs> lovely. Pipe. Oh another pipe. Yeah, one of these you know, one of these types. Oh, like the yeah, the big chunky ones. Brilliant. Yeah, I think this bit of dog is a bit younger. <laughs> Tiny little button. We're still incredulous about the tiny plate. <laughs> it couldn't be more perfect for us if it tried. Tiny, I think it's a lens. Or is it a cabochon? Is it a lens or a cabochon? But it would be perfect for the doll's house. And a metal ring. <laughs> Just going to show you my new tool because look, I have learnt. Losses. Not going to lose that. It was a bit of a sad sight. <laughs> it's a leg. A broken leg. I think it is a doll's house leg though. And not a doll's house leg, a doll's leg. So we've definitely got things that we can fit that on. Okay, I was, I was looking at this handle. I don't really pick handles up, but it is a very beautiful handle. But then I looked up and... See it? <laughs> it's a cat's head. Hello. <laughs> I've just been taught a very valuable lesson. <laughs> Don't buy cheap tools, it's broken instantly. 
I did because I, I found this coin. <laughs> what coin is that? I won't rub it. I shall clean it. But hey, come but look, it's broken. Just gonna have it. Never have their handles, these jugs in particular. Honky neck. What's that? That looks like a top of an acorn. Or another sort of pumpkin lid. Oh, I think I might have to take that for the top of something. It's like an interesting curly piece of metal. Ooh. Very pretty. Great to make something out of. Think I see a thorny pipe. I do. <gasps> wow, that's my third pipe of the day. <laughs> Brilliant. No way. Not long after. Is that another one? That's a massive thorny pipe. What? Wow! Huh. That is huge! That's incredible! Hey Mum! Can you see how big this thorny pipe is? This is the second one, I've just found another one. Look at the size of this! Yeah, it's absolutely massive! A thorny one! Pipe day four! Okay, that's strange. It's another coin. Okay, more for potatoes. Fork. And I have this tool with me, backup tool. I don't think this is particularly old, but it's going to, this isn't particularly old, but it's very good for the doll's house. We want, you've wanted one for a while. The b b rusty bottle lid. A good bowl or something. Yeah, pie, dish. pie dish. You can put a pie in it. <laughs> now this could be very good for a pot belly stove for the doll's house for the new kitchen extension. I don't know what it is, but definitely could be quite good. There are so <laughs> many bottles <laughs> and broken things. That's quite crazy. It's all broken though, but luckily we like the small things, so they're the things that get missed. Look. <laughs> she thinks that's a bottle digger joke. <laughs> it's one of those modern bottles with the cob marble in it. Do you think they're leaving it? <laughs> that's quite funny. For the next generation, confuse them. <laughs> Has she got a face? Oh, she has a fan. Nice. Definitely make use of you. Bead marble. Hmm, marble? Very, very tiny marble, almost a peewee marble, if that is a marble. Oh, sit down and clean it. Just pulled an Eiffel Tower lemonade out of the dirt. It's complete, but we don't need it. Maybe someone else will come along and want it. This is a piece of metal that says hall. So I think that's going to be great for putting on the, on the doll's house something hall. So that's interesting. And that's probably a salt or pepper shaker. Does it have anything on the top? Oh, it would have. It would have if it wasn't broken. Hmm, is that a gobby? <sighs> wow! It's not expecting to find one of those. Oh, so there is some age to this place. There is a little brown, chipped unfortunately, gobby. Five stone jack, alley gob. Knucklebone. It's a game. 
brilliant day for the, the toys. This pipe stem has got little bumps. I've seen one like that before. And it has writing all over it. <laughs> Lovely. I've never seen one like that before. Oh, like little embossed, um, embossed um, letters. It's yeah. Like, like, um, engraved. Wow. Okay, just hand me this bottle stop. <laughs> it's very scratched. <laughs> I don't think we shall be taking that. Uh, I think it's, uh, I don't think it's dog. I think it's a lump. I thought it was a greyhound. Did it not look like a greyhound? Oh, like lying down. I was a Yes, oh, it's a, it's a dog or a lamb. I was looking at it like that. Uh, no, oh. No. oh, it is. Oh, It's like the cherub I found yeah. the other day. Lovely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's a lion's paw. It's got painted claws. <laughs> what do we think? Missing its handle? Piles of bricks in there, but it'd be really difficult to get in. <laughs> I can't go that way. Yes, Need a machete. It's so sunny. Do you want me to help you instead of filming you? <laughs> oh, I got to go past that. Just walked in here straight away. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, just sitting there in the middle. Oh, you're definitely on a pipe roll. He is definitely small enough to take home. <laughs> I think he still has a cork in him too. Oh, he's tiny. A window hiding in the moss. I mean, these that looks very fairy. Oh, look! Oh, that's such a shame. It's just the bottom of their feet. Oh How cute my is gosh. that? Like when it was in the moss, it looked really cute. Yeah, well, you just sort of. Yeah, it's a little ladder, isn't it? Yeah. You might be able to use that in the garden or something. Yeah, it's got feet. Yeah, so you probably just. That's really nice. <laughs> They're quite pretty bottles. Oh. Two different types of. That one's a perfume, obviously, this one is too, but this one has a little metal lid. That one's got like a band around it. Does. It does. A little bottle. That one looks like it's a beautiful colour and it looks embossed. It is. Oh, I think it's got blue ink inside. Oh, really? Yeah. It says S. Dodman, London. That's beautiful. Definitely going to be taking that. Yeah, there's a little one there. Oh, is it just plain? And then what's that one that's sort of grown into the tree? Oh, it's broken. Oh, but that's brilliant. It's <laughs> grown into the tree. It is a beautiful tile. Oh, I want a house covered in tiles like this. It's a good knob, too. That is a very good knob. You could almost use that. Yeah. I'll take that. I need, uh, my house needs a knob. <laughs> Lenny Dover. I found a couple of these before and it all has the remains of its label on. It's a cod marble. I know. <laughs> is that a vulcanite sticking out of the path? It is. Oh, and it's one I've not seen before. Oh, what are these gates called? What are the gates? Like at a drawbridge and the Tower of London. Portcullis, that's it. That's what I was thinking of. Wow, cool. And look at what they've left.
perfect. Oh, he's had a melted bell ink too. Oh, it looks like a top hat. Oh. What else is here? They are quite good for the doll's house though. What's in the top of that um, bottle? Is that a shooter marble? Or it could be like a roll leaf. Roll oh thing. yeah. So there's some stoneware. There's a little ink. It's a tiny little melted overall. Wow. Nice. And look at that iridescent melted field. Oh, yeah. Fields ink and gum. But we'll be taking these two and probably actually oh no it's a modern lens we'll take the ball the big marble <laughs> we will be taking these and leaving this for some other visitors i don't know take the melted bell okay <laughs> <laughs> we left that last one and everyone told us we should have taken it yeah Well, that was a trip to a new place. There was loads of things there. Um, it's always exciting going to a new place and realising there's things there. Uh, what was your favourite find? Well, my favourite find, I imagine, is your favourite find. I didn't find it, but it was the best <laughs> find of the day. OK. So maybe you should just talk about okay. the best find of the day. Would you like to pick it up? At the start of the day, we both said that we wanted to find something for the doll's house, an amazing thing for the doll's house, because th there's a plan afoot, which we'll talk about later. And, well, we did. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely beautiful. I thought it was going to be broken, but it's two little clowns balancing on balls. It's amazing. It looks sort of French. Yeah, it really reminds me of uh, the little prints. Yeah. The illustrations in that. It's absolutely beautiful and we're going to be building a nursery in the extension of the doll's house and this is going to be pride of place, maybe above a fireplace we have yeah. to build. We're going to put little wire hangings on it. Yeah. We? But yeah, we have never found a painted doll's plate. No. We have found a decorative doll's plate. So we found this plate before at Treasure Beach, which is a beautiful doll's plate marked foreign with a leaf design which goes in the well, is it going to stay in the living room or is it going to go in the kitchen it's probably going to go in the kitchen mm. i don't know because it's got a leaf on it they yeah. used to have i'm not sure they put plates on the wall the i think all plates were for usage well these ones are going to go well, these ones are going to go on the wall so yeah but this one i think trumps this one yeah <laughs> Because of the pure level of detail. It's beautiful, the little faces. So yeah, that was definitely the best find of the day. Um, it's probably 1920s. This is a little tiny bottle that I picked up and realised when I cleaned it that it's actually a nail varnish bottle and the nail varnish is still in there. It's such a beautiful colour. It's like burnt shiny orange kind of colour you'd wear. Mm-hmm, definitely. <laughs> it's beautiful. And it's still got the brush inside. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, I like it too. Mm. The tabloid bottle, which is B and W and B, W and Co, which stands for Burroughs Welcome. And this was like pharmaceutical pills. Welcome still exists. Oh, does it? Hmm. Oh. And yeah, and it's got lots of roots grown in it that grew through. We haven't taken the lid off, but they grew through the lid. I quite like it. It's like a little it's it's mysterious like, oh, it looks bottle. <laughs> yeah. That's that going to become a Christmas decoration. Yep. <laughs> the melted bell for the tree. We do have a complete one of these. 
my mystery item, which I picked up because it looked like it could be useful to be the top of an acorn or something, actually has writing on it. And it says Winfield & Co, Birmingham. And Winfield & Co in Birmingham made mainly lamps. Brass lamps. <laughs> Weird. So I imagine, and like light fittings, so I imagine this probably was part of some sort of light fitting, but it's, um, is it terracotta or ceramic? I think it's terracotta. I think it's terracotta. So dry. And it does have some metal, I think. So yeah, it would have been part of a lamp. So that's cool. They were some really beautiful lamps, but still good for some sort of craft. This is an S. Dodman and Company London bottle. And the only examples of S. Dodman bottles online we can find are sauce bottles. Which is weird. Chop sauce, which yeah. is like meat sauce. So I don't know if this was like a, a small bottle of sauce sampling and someone used it for ink or there was a, or S. Dodman and Son. We could be pr Dodman promotional. Well, they could like have made ink. it like ink bottles to fast yeah. promotion. Yeah. So yeah, but it's blue ink inside and it's absolutely beautiful. And we're going to leave mm -hmm. that ink. We've got a few now, haven't we? We, we do, yeah. The insides. I think they're nice. That yeah. just adds another dimension, doesn't it? And we did bring home this perfume bottle because the lid is beautiful. One of the coins is a George, cannot tell which one yet, and the other one I think is part of a watch. All that's left to say is thank you for the likes, comments, subscriptions, um, Patreon donors, Kofi donors, it all means a lot. And we now have a camper van so we're going to be travelling around the, camp the country and the donations pay for all the petrol because the price of petrol has gone through the roof. <laughs> So, it's so appreciated. Thank you so much. So, if you haven't already, if you click the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon to be notified when we upload films, because we have some new sort of series starting which won't be going up on a normal Thursday. So, if you'd like to know when a new video goes up, press the bell. And also subscribe because we are going to be going sort of all over the place yeah. in the country in the next couple of months so it's very exciting and we'd love for you to come along so we hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and we will see you next thursday bye, bye. oh next thursday when we find oh <laughs> the dream of all dream Dreams. finds that we've talked about in this channel since the start the so very beginning something that i specifically have wanted um forever and I've talked about it a lot on this channel so you can see if you can guess in the comments down below unfortunately mum did find it <laughs> <laughs> so we will see you for that bye, bye. okay that looks like it could be interesting Ooh.